Yo everyone, Shock16, back once again for the Renegade Master. <laughs> That's right, um, so here's a question I want to ask you. What consoles or gaming systems do you own? And what was the first ever game that you played on those systems? That's right, I'm not bothered about your favourite game or the game you like playing the most on those systems. The first ever game you played on that system and I'm not bothered about the consoles that you have owned in the past or the consoles that you will own in the future just the consoles that you own right now why do I want to ask you this because this is the gaming community and we like to see each other's console collections surely do you know what I mean gaming collections console collections so why not here's an opportunity to show off the consoles you own and also you get to tell little stories about the first ever game you played on that console so yeah I'm expecting a um, at least a video response to this but if you can't be asked with a video response there is a comment section below for all you lazy bastards but yeah anyway here's my consoles that I own and the first ever games that I played on them so of course we'll kick off with the Sega Saturn and the first game that I played on the Sega Saturn was Sega Rally Championship so yeah um, where I played this for the first time would have been on a demo kiosk kind of thing in I'm sure it was Electronics Beauty in, Not in Nottingham and yeah don't hold me to that it might have been somewhere else it might I want to say it might have been game but I'm sure it was Ele Electronics Beauty because I, that's eventually where I did get my Saturn from so yeah that was the first game I ever played I played it in the arcades obviously previously and when I played it on the console I thought it was absolutely amazing and it's basically what sold the system to me so yeah Sega Saturn first game I ever played on it Sega Rally the next system we have is the Mega Drive this is the Model 2 but Model 1 whichever one you want to go for and the first game I played on the Mega Drive was this game well not this part but this game Quack Shot that's right um, this was the first game I ever played on the Mega Drive. There used to be a guy who lived across the road from me. He was, uh, I think he was about a year older than me and his name was Matthew. Yeah, if you recognise me, Matthew. Hello. <laughs> I used to live across the street from you. Yeah, uh, he was like a kid that had everything. When it was brand new, he used to have like everything. He was kind of like a spoiled... <laughs> spoiled kid and yeah as soon as the Mega Drive came out he had it and yeah because I only lived across the road I went across there and played on his Mega Drive and that was the first game that he let me play on was Quackshot and I thought it was a great platformer hence why I bought it back and yeah still a great game Quackshot so the next console is the Dreamcast and the first ever game I played on the Dreamcast was Sonic Adventure um, yeah, I played this at a friend's house who um, I used to go university with. Bloody hell, that's how long ago this came out. But yeah, I was still at university at the time and right around his ass, we played on his Dreamcast that was new at the time and we played on Sonic Adventure and my initial thoughts of it was um, it was okay, but I preferred the 2D Sonics. It, basically, I got the same vibe on this game that I got the first time that I ever played Mario 64. I thought it was alright, an okay-ish game, but I preferred the original Mario. And just like that, just like when I played on this game, I, I preferred the original Sonic. So yeah, the first game I ever played though was Sonic Adventure. The next console is the Neo Geo AES. And the first game that I played on the AES would be nom 1975 where i first played this was at a youtubers meetup um, the first ever youtuber meetup i ever went to which was in spalding at a place called game link which used to be owned by a fellow youtuber called murphy Durf, martin murphy um but yeah he i don't think he youtubes anymore and he doesn't own game link anymore either it's shut down since but yeah um, he had one of these on the counter in his store and yeah, he let me play on it, and the game that was running on it was this, Nam 1975, and I just thought it was amazing. Um, I'd never played on an AES before then at all, obviously, because this is the first game that I played on it, and um, 
yeah, I, I'd, I'd never even seen this system before, in all honesty. So yeah, up until like, what, what, about six years ago, I didn't even know what the system was. So yeah, but it blew me away. I fell in love with it as soon as I played on it. And it's all down to this game, really, because I thought this game was amazing. And I still think it's amazing to this day. Next, we'll go with the Game Boy. And the first game that I played on the Game Boy was none other than Super Mario Land. And I just thought this was brilliant. <laughs> um, yeah, I played this at both... I think it... I, I get mixed up whether it was my cousins um, that I played on first or whether it was another kid who lived across the road from me called Jeffrey. So yeah, hello Jeffrey if you're watching. You're not, you're not, I know you're not. But <laughs> yeah, it was either my cousin or the little lad who lived across the road who he was little at the time he's like late 20s now but um yeah um yeah this was the first game i played on game boy anyway and this is what made me ask for the game boy for christmas so yeah um it's still a great game um uh, a bit simplistic looking um towards the later games that came out on the system like if you compare this to the second game super mario land 2 six golden coins which is my favorite game on the system then you'll see that the graphics really improved like bigger sprites and everything on the um on the sequel so yeah still a good game but it was outmatched by the sequel in my opinion next we'll go for the super nintendo and the first game that i played on the super nintendo is the game that's actually on the box which is Street Fighter 2, yeah. Bloody hell, you can see the dust off this one as well. <laughs> um, but yeah, first game I ever played on the Super Nintendo was Street Fighter 2. Um, yeah, I, I loved the game in the arcade, so when I found out it was on a console, I, uh, of course I loved it even more. But it's a weird story how I played on this for the first time because there used to be a lad that lived around the corner from me on the estate who was kind of like my mortal enemy at that age, like when we was young kids. He was like my mortal enemy. We always just used to fight over nothing. We just didn't like each other at all. I don't know what it was. Do you know what I mean? I don't think we'd ever had an argument or anything that had built up to us not liking each other. I think he just didn't like my face. I didn't like his face. And every time we saw each other, we would just fight. And I mean literally, proper fight, over nothing. And then one day, we didn't fight. We started talking to each other, found out that we was actually um, alright. He found out I was alright, I found out he was alright. We ended up liking each other. And we became quite good mates in the end. And yeah, <laughs> he invited me around his house one day and we played on his Super Nintendo. And we played um, Street Fighter on it. So there you go. The rest is history. Next console we'll go for is the Wii. So the first game that I played on the Wii was of course Wii Sports. That's right, um, yeah, I, I actually didn't play a game on the Wii until I bought a Wii. Um, I heard other people's opinions of the Wii, I'd seen people play on a Wii, but the first game that I actually played myself was this when I actually bought the console home. And I bought the console on a whim. I was, um, back when I had here, <laughs> Um, I went for a haircut and where I used to live, the buses only used to come every hour to get back home. Do you know what I mean? To and from a bus every hour. So I had my haircut, I got in there quite quick. Do you know what I mean? Nobody else was in the barbers. I had my haircut, came out and I had some time to kill. So I went into Blockbuster Video of all places and yeah, I bought a Wii. This was the first game I played when I got home. So my most recent console that I bought is the PlayStation 4. So yeah, another console that was actually bought while I was waiting for a bus. I tell you, waiting for a bus, when there's places like Ar Argos and Blockbuster and that game stores like that near me, um, is, is a bad thing, because I'll just buy stuff when I'm waiting for stuff. So yeah, <laughs> and if I plan a trip, I normally plan it around so that I can get back in time for the bus, so that the bus is like, I'm not gonna be waiting around for one. Otherwise, I'll end up buying stuff like that, the PlayStation 4. So yeah, the um, first game that I played on the PlayStation 4 is a game that I don't actually own, but it was Star Wars Battlefront. And yeah, I played this at fellow YouTuber's house, Interghosts. Um, yeah, when we went down for the Bournemouth Comic Con last year, we played on his PS4, and the first game that he let me play on um, was Star Wars Battlefront, which I thought was a good game. I prefer the older... Battlefront games, you know the one on the PlayStation 2, 
Um, because it was a bit different. They had like campaign mode, didn't they? Whereas it's just online only, isn't it, on PlayStation 4. I thought it was a good game though, I thought it was alright. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's not a game that I've gone out and bought and no, I have the system, so it weren't really that, um, it weren't a system seller to me, but it was a good game. But yeah, I was always going to get the PS4 anyway, and yeah, the first time I actually played on a PS4 was it in To Go South. And now we'll go with the Xbox One. And the first game that I played on the Xbox One was Rise, Son of Rome which is a launch title and I actually thought it was really good. This game got a lot of shit when it first came out. But yeah, um, it's one of the games that I pre-ordered with the um, system on launch day, on day one. And yeah, I thought it was a good game. Really graphically impressive. You know, when, when you first go from a 360 to the next generation, then this was a good game to show you that graphical enhancement because it really does look beautiful this game if you've not played it i say play it it's really good hack and slash kind of game brun i honestly love this game i don't get why there was so much hate for it. It, it i thought it was a decent launch title so we'll go with this heavy beast next and that's the xbox 360 and the first game i ever played on the xbox 360 was none other than call of duty 3 um yeah was this a launch game on the xbox 360 i'm not sure um, it was basically just one of the games i bought if you don't know the story when i bought my um, xbox 360 off ebay um <laughs> it came before i actually had any games for it so i spent a couple of days kind of twiddling my thumbs waiting for games to come for it because yeah i had this new system and no games for it I just bought like a cheap bundle of games off it and one of the games in it was Call of Duty 3 and it was the first game that I played is because an, an old friend of mine um, that I actually met online as it goes um, had an Xbox and he said this was brilliant online he said if you're gonna go online then your first experience online needs to be Call of Duty 3 so I bought it and yeah if you don't um, if you can see on that little sticker there then if you can see it or not don't know if it'll focus but you actually got a 48 hour trial of xbox live so yeah the first time i ever went online with xbox live was with call of duty 3 brilliant game i have to get back to this sometime actually so the next system is the playstation 3 and the first game that i ever played on the playstation 3 was metal gear solid 4 that's right the game that um i pre-ordered with my console um, well, not pre-ordered because I didn't get it on release, but when I ordered the PlayStation 3 This is the game that came with it that I wanted with it and I was pissed off. Can you tell why? That's right Platinum Edition. That is the version that they sent me with my console But it's not the one that was advertised with the console. It was the original version and it pissed me off I nearly sent it back Because <laughs> I got a platinum version, but whatever I can always swap it out eventually Um, yeah Metal Gear Solid 4 Big fan of Metal Gear Solid. Um, I didn't think it was as good as the previous instalments, but I still thought it was a good game. A lot better than the new one. What is it? Grand Zero? No, not Grand Zeroes. Phantom Pain. Um, yeah. I don't know. That's another story, um, isn't it? But yeah, Metal Gear Solid 4 was a good game. So the next system we're going to go for is the PlayStation. What? Hang on a minute. What's up to me PlayStation? <laughs> yeah, the PlayStation is currently in this state because, um, yeah, I'm respraying the shell on it again. That's right. Project Stealth is about to become Project Stealth Point Two. <laughs> so yeah. Um, anyway, the PlayStation One. The first game that I played on the PlayStation was. I don't even think I own it actually, so I can't show you that either. But the first game that I played on it was Wipeout. I can show you the Saturn version. Oh, you've all seen you've all seen Wipeout, but yeah, the first time that I played Wipeout was um, on a demo kiosk in Virgin Megastore. Um, that's right. I used to love that place. Um, the one in Nottinghamshire used to have two floors and used to go down the stairs in the centre. And then as soon as you got down the stairs, there used to be like a podium, and it used to have like four demo kiosks around it. And yeah, when the PlayStation first came out that was the game that there was demo in in it and I thought it, that game blew me away it was so fast and you know it had like that techno music in it and stuff like that 
absolutely brilliant. Blew me away that game did. Um, but yeah. So the next system is the PlayStation 2. So the first game that I played on the PlayStation 2 was a game that I don't have currently. Um, I did have it, but I think I accidentally traded it in. <laughs> you know how it is. It's not an expensive game to get back anyway. You can get it back in any time. And that game is none other than Grand Theft Auto 3. Absolute system seller to me that was. Um, yeah, a big fan of the top-down view ones, you know, that you got on the PlayStation. And yeah, when this came out and they did it all 3D and yeah, it was like nothing else you'd seen before, weren't it? It was like the just the next step, like next generation is here when I saw that game. And yeah, um, I was going out with a girl at the time and her younger brother had the PlayStation 2. I didn't even know the, play the PlayStation 2 had been launched at this time. So yeah, he must have got it on launch or something because... Um, he just said, have you, have you played on the PlayStation 2 yet? And I was like, no, I didn't even know it was that like. And then I played on it, and he put Grand Theft Auto 3 in it. And yeah, I think I just sat playing Grand Theft Auto 3 around my girlfriend's. I didn't even bother with my girlfriend that night. I think I was just like on Grand Theft Auto 3 all night. <laughs> so the console we're going to finish on, I think we can call this a console because it's been consoleized, And that is none other than the MVS. But the first game I ever played on the consoleized MVS was none other than King of Fighters 99, which it does say there, but it's obviously in, it's in Japanese, so you can't read it, but you can see the 99 on the end. <laughs> so yeah, it's King of Fighters, a good fighter. I'm not sure if 99 is the best one in the series. Do you know what I mean? That might be debatable. But yeah, the um, reason why I played this first is because I needed a cart to test the um, system out with and... King of Fighters 99 is a really cheap MVS car if you're looking. So yeah, if you ever get one and you want a car just to test it out, look for this game because it's cheap as chips. So there you go guys. Those was all my consoles along with all the games that I first played on those consoles. So yeah, what are yours? What consoles do you own? And what was the first games you ever played on those consoles? Let me know. Like I said, if you can't be asked to do a video response, at least post them in the comments or something, you know join in play along so yeah and i'm also sorry if you could see loads of dust flying around basically my games room has become a bit of a storeroom um kind of workshop again again at the minute while i'm doing some like more kind of like decorating and stuff um yeah i've been jigsawing wood and stuff so sawdust all over the place basically when i've done what i've done this games room is being Turfed up, putting back piece by piece and going through a major deep clean. So yeah, there you go. <laughs> anyway, that explains the dust. Woo. Anyway, like I said, let me know what yours are, what you own, what your first games were and I'll see you soon in another video. See you then. Bye bye for now.